much year five. What are you looking forward about to about this specific year and this group that you've got? Well, it feels good. We love getting started. So it's day one. Report day is always fun, but we have a brand new group. So we're going to have 10 new faces, um, five freshmen, five transfers, and then the core of our returners. Uh, but they're, the energy is so awesome. And we started to feel it during camps when people were here working. Um, but to get in the gym with them today already, this morning, it was it's just a cool vibe. Uh, but we're excited. I mean, we have the same expectation and standard for this group. And we're pumped to be started. Obviously, you guys will see us a little bit here as we get started this afternoon, but it's just, it's a lot of new faces, but it's really good energy and everyone is fired up to be in the gym. Does it feel like a rebuilding year at all? I mean, when you, that was a lot of talent that you know, graduated and left that you're going to have to replace. And just... I think anytime you lose pieces that you've been used to having, it's new. I don't know if it's rebuilding. It's going to be new for everyone. I mean, it's new for us getting in there, but it's fun. I mean, I think the sport is any athletics competition team. It's going to be new at some point. So I think we have a great mix of youth and just talent and returners. So I think it's just a fun new vibe is what I would call it. But I don't know if I would call it rebuilding. I think it's just new. Who's emerged and maybe you expect to emerge kind of, you know, some of the leaders of, of this team? I think Alec Fields, obviously, she's always been solid, but I, there's people that have been in within this program and the new faces that even in our first opening meetings yesterday, everyone has a voice and that's what we want. Um, like I said, we have some transfers that have experience and they're going to be vocal. They're going to have impacts, but we also have returners and young kids that are going to do the same thing. So when I say it's a good mix, it is definitely a good mix and it's cool to see their personalities and everyone clicking together. Coach, obviously it's pretty hard to replace a all-time great like Kim Jong. So yeah. how do you go about kind of filling that front five player for college? Um, I think there's transition time. And once that season of the fall ends in the spring, we had a lot of people that have grown and stepped up. And so it's funny because Camille was just around today. Uh, she's been here for the summer. But today we got to like catch up and I got to see her. And it is. It's, it's funny how – in sport, things evolve. And even just a semester, you see the growth in players and people filling roles. And it's a different personality and it's a different person doing those things. But we've seen that. We've seen that in our setters. We've seen that with other key players. We have new outsides. We have new middles that have come in and they've stepped up. Maddie, Maddie B is going to be who Maddie B is. You know what I mean? She's been here. She's been solid. But to see her bringing in our new young middles and some of these transfers and just how they feed off of each other and listen to each other. That's, it's a different dynamic. And yes, we're filling those shoes from like a Camille, uh, but it's just cool to see those players grow and grow into who they're going to become. I know you're out an awful lot of time to new girls and freshmen, mm -hmm. but just what have you seen from them and just recruiting them, getting them to come to a and just off the court skills? I would say the intangibles and just not being around them in the summer, but then getting into camp, like we get to work camp with them. And so that's the most we had been around them. The chemistry that that group of the team has already created from June into July and working camp. And when I talk about an energy or a vibe, it's what they are. It's their personality. So it's the intangibles, what you're saying, away from the volleyball court, how they push each other, how they, they're driven, and they know exactly what they're here to do and what they want to be accomplishing. And it has nothing to do with our our coaching yet. You know what I mean? So it's to me, props to our returners because they set that tone and they were already locked in. But then for everyone that came in in June and July, they jumped right in and everyone is, we could tell, we could tell by the way they compete and how they're playing right now that they've been getting after it together. So. Which obviously uh, practice across the street, football is going on. Yeah. What camp looks like for them. So what does camp and getting ready for the regular mid season look like for the volleyball team? I think all of us get excited about this time of year. And so it is funny because football and soccer start a week before us. And so then we're like the antsy ones, like preparing and getting ready. And then we start this week. So I think the energy is already there. And for us, volleyball, soccer, football, cross country, there's teams here. It's a cool time because no one else is here yet. And so for us, this is our time to be a team, be together. All of our meals are together. It's time to lock into what we need to do. And so – it's a forecast into the fall and a comp competition season. But at the end of the day, I love this time because it's us. It's like our time. And it's cool to just be around Slocum, around Brighton, be around the other athletes and other programs. 
last year you had a, a trip to Hawaii. You don't, you don't get that this year. They're coming <laughs> So, yes. um, I guess it's still exciting to start with the home tournament. Yeah, we're so excited to open at home. I mean, that was a that was an amazing trip last year. It was a great experience for our team. Um, but to have the teams Hawaii, Pitt, and San Diego coming in here, that's a huge tournament for us. And it's it's a measuring stick, but it's also we want to open at home in front of the 12th man. And what better way to prepare ourselves for our season than a tournament like that? So we're excited that Hawaii is returning. Um, we've actually kind of texted with that staff and talked to them a little bit in the last couple of days. So that's going to be good for us. Looking back, looking back just to last year, what is something that you personally want to improve on and something you want to see from your players this year? Uh, personally, I just want this team to continue to grow our competitive chemistry. You know what I mean? I think every season is a new season. There's new players always. There's a new chemistry. And so for me, Day one, the starting point, that's what we're focusing on, how we continue to grow and build in that. And then I just think we need to keep our eyes on the process. You know what I mean? I, I think a lot of people get caught up in the vision and, like, long term. Well, that's four months from now. We need to stay day to day and execute day to day. What do you want to see early on? Because, I mean, you know, without looking too far ahead, you know, obviously you'd probably like a better result than last year. For sure. Or postseason, rather. So – what are some early signs, I guess, that you know gives you confidence you're headed in the right direction? But right now with this group, because of all of our new pieces, it's our establishing our systems, offense, defense, getting everyone on the same page so that when we're going out there and we're competing, we're working as a unit. And so right now when I talk about day-to-day, -day, that's where we're at. I mean, we're excited to be in the gym. It's day one, but we can't do all of it in day one. And so even kind of reeling them back in because they're all super juice, like competitive, ready to eat after it. And it's like, okay, let's work on this today. Let's work on that. And it's breaking it down, even communication. What we want out of them. You know, the tempo of our offense, the base release, the defense. Because we're meshing a lot of new pieces. The youth, the freshmen, transfers coming from other programs, and then our core group that knows. And that, I think, is the – that's the X factor. We have a good group that is totally in and knows what we're trying to get. And so then they're just like our – voices and hands. So seeing that dynamic is what is going to be over the next two weeks, very crucial to us being a unit when we come out that first weekend. As you come in, it takes you a couple of years to get your program established. Are you mm -hmm. happy where, where, where the program is right now? Um, what we've accomplished now, I mean, we're here to win championships, but the trajectory where we're going, yes. I, I think you always go through ebbs and flows. Um, you have to get the right chemistry, competitive chemistry. Like I said, every season's new. Every team is different. We can return players, but we're always going to be adding new pieces. And so finding that and being consistent with that is the key. And I think we're in a really good spot right now, and I'm really excited about this group and the energy. Like I said, it's they create it with us, and it is a really good vibe right now. And I'm excited for you guys to meet all of them. Um, you're going to talk to a couple of the players next, but you guys will notice it and you'll see it, and I'm excited for what this what this group's going to do. Thanks, Ingham.